Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of us. Uh, Life is strange. That's what I was going to say, definitely. Alright. I don't know who you are. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick nugs. True that. Okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. Hmm. Let me know when you found something. <clears throat> Alright, you two could just flirt that up. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather and the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. You birds have been hanging out too much. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Hello, Max. Mrs. Thanks Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. <clears throat> How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Oh, dang. Yeah. Uh, let's ask him about... David actually do you ever talk with David Matson? he talks to me I listen that's how David operates he sees things not people but I I think he sees you Max why do you say that because you both see with cameras I think you have better vision than both of us <laughs> no Max I just look at everything from a different angle. Hmm. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Oh, these, yeah. How can anybody explain all those poor pinched <clears throat> whales? My dad was a fisherman. And he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... They just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster? Or... I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question... I'm coming to you. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Hello, Max. Thanks again. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. No way. I just have to, uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. But to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? 
I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Oh. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now, I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Dang. No, I don't want to talk to you. Go. Talk Chill. to you, Brooke. Dang. <laughs> Calm down. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Oh god, here comes snooping time. Let me check. I, I really need to start checking when I start the episode. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Look before you lust. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. It's smashing time? What? Are toilet paper <coughs> wars mandatory in the dorms? Sit in shit. Free glory hole. Dorm think tank. Welcome to Black Smell. I don't know what that says. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Cry. Pripster cry? Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. You know, I'm so glad I don't go to the school. People will write some really bad things about me a bit. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. Hmm. Blow me. Bunch of that, not my circus, not my monkeys. So no one ever knowledge is good. Oh wait, hold on. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't room. in room 106 Principal or 108. Principal Wells is drunk right now. Who would steal cat pics? <laughs> they have one more meeting left. So casual gamers, your time is over. Every week we play and analyze a new game. From strategy to shooters. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. 
This can only be Nathan's room. Hmm. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. There's no unique picture of reality, Stephen Hawking. I can have a little fun with Warren for a change. I mean, he's the one who wants to go ape. And sometimes you have to take a chance and see what happens. Are you made of copper and tellurium? Because you're... <laughs> cute. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Dang. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. Hmm. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Max, now that Dave is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting messed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell night. Uh, we didn't. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get. I hoped you would get her back in the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be. Such a good influence unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm trying to be good. I know, Max. I forget. You're still teenage adults. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. I would say steal a bit. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. It's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Best son in the world. No, he's not. I really hope they were all consenting models. That is so Chloe. Mm. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Uh, it might be like some sort of torture music. You know, that must torture. be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Mm. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? Nathan Prescott, all American teen. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad 
bad sign. Psyched about, uh, I'm psyched about going in and picking up some serious party favors. I haven't told my dad to keep the pics away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Just make an appointment at any time. An appointment. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out. For now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet when Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. Not for me, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about it. Well, that shale town's going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't, don't F it up, son. Your father. Wow. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. But you either, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. Yeah. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Hold on. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Yes, I would. This room is like Nathan's mind. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Okay, well, we missed something then. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> uh, you're supposed to do it, bro. You are so fucking dead! Uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, Dude, he's going to jail for that. You know what? He deserves it. Maybe, but... You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! I'm gonna have to rewind. Get off of me! Please! <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna rewind on this. He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! I'm sorry. Yes, we have to go! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Yeah. Hold on. I, I think I'm gonna rewind. That wasn't right. Damn. Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But it's 
scary. Wait. Shit, man. This really hurts. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely rewinding that. Warren shouldn't shouldn't do that. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him beat him. Uh, maybe I should. I don't know. What should I do? Uh, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> Actually, self defense. You know what? It's fine, it's fine. Self defense. He pulled a gun on us. That was a little rough to watch, though. You like? Shit, man. This really hurts. Yep, we're sticking with that. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Also... We're going to end the episode here. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you all again next time.